Okay, so this is pretty interesting. Did you know that 91% of the people that travel regularly are much happier with their life? But before you jump on a plane now and travel the world, definitely be aware that there are some things you need to know so that you don't end up in a horrible scenario and lose a lot of money. Hey everybody, it's Rico Go, and in this video I'm going to talk about my top 25 travel tips. I traveled to so many countries before, I lived in Switzerland for 3 months, in Bali for 6 months and here in Cyprus now for over 3 years. And on every trip I learned something new to save money, to meet new awesome people and to stay organized. So I'm super excited to tell you all of the good things. Listen carefully and watch the video until the very end. The first tip is have a plan but be spontaneous. In general, you should know where you want to travel, how long you want to stay there and how you will make money. But at the same time, you should be spontaneous and flexible because your attitude should not be like this and just don't let anything happen to you because this way nothing special will happen to you. Many of the best adventures and opportunities in my life happened because I was very spontaneous, flexible and open for it. And this perfectly leads to tip number two which is be open minded and bold. In general if you have a positive attitude, positive energy will come to you. Also you should smile more often when you're traveling, you're not at home so everything is different, be happy about it and also say yes more often if it doesn't harm you. If someone around you has an adventurous idea just think about it and maybe say yes and don't stay in your hotel Airbnb and do some amazing things. And this also leads to the very important tip number three which is network with other people. Of course traveling alone has its own benefits and is also very important but at the same time after some time you want to meet other people, you want to network with them. And that is possible online with Facebook groups, Instagram when you just look up for the hashtags or locations that you're in and just connect with the people but also offline. If you're in a cafe and you see someone has a very good attitude just talk to them. Say hey what's up that is definitely possible and maybe this person will be your new best friend, travel buddy or whatever. <laughs> Number four is have a morning routine and this can be very individual because everyone likes something else. For me personally it is stretching, meditation, reading a book, some pages and also drinking my lovely coffee. Number five is start writing. Just journal what you're experiencing, how you're feeling and this really helps you to clear your mind and also to get to know yourself much more. It's also very interesting and funny sometimes to read what you wrote years ago. So definitely start writing. Number six is actually what I'm doing right now and that is create content. Just take your phone with you. You don't need a fancy camera, microphone. Just record some pictures, videos and either watch them yourself in the future, show them your kids, your family or you can also grow an audience with that. You can post it on social media, YouTube, whatever you want and maybe some other people really like the content you're creating and you can grow an audience. Isn't that awesome? This YouTube channel actually started in Bali as well. So my very first videos are recorded in Bali. They are much more different than now and no one starts with the perfect equipment. Number seven is use helpful apps and for that my favorites are Airbnb which is obvious, Couchsurfers which is like a free version of Airbnb, you can sleep at someone else's place, Blablacar also a very nice option especially in Central Europe, I drove very long distances with other people, very cheap money, Bumble and there are different options, you can like have friends, business partners and dating there. Then currency converters are also interesting especially if you're like in more abroad countries and you're not that used to the currency calculations. Then translator, very obvious and also the maps app. Either from Google or Apple, all of that really helps you on your travels. And many many more, so definitely do a research, find amazing apps that will make your travels as efficient as possible. Number eight is very similar and that is use price comparison tools. There are many options for example to find the cheapest flight online but no real tool is the best one for every flight. So always do two or three comparisons and then book your flight so that you always get the cheapest flight possible. Number nine is very interesting because it is so helpful but not a lot of people know about it and that is cashback credit cards. 
There are many credit cards that will give you instant cashback that range from 1 to 2 to sometimes even 3% on every purchase that you make. So let's say you buy something for 100 euros, getting 3 euros back is amazing for every purchase you make and that is instant. It's not like counting or collecting some weird points, it is just getting the money back right into your bank account. I don't want to mention exact names right here now but you can do your own research or you can subscribe to the channel because I will talk about those things in the future as well. Number 10 is also one of my favorite things to do and that is use airport lounges. If you arrive at an airport very early for example, there is not much you can do except going to airport lounges, eating free food there, getting free drinks there and sitting in a very nice and comfortable chair. And most of the people think, oh yeah, cool, but no, it's so expensive. Actually, no, there are so many very cheap credit cards for 10 euros a month that will give you free access to most of the airport lounges and most of the airports. Also, you will get free insurances with the credit cards, for example. It's just important that you know how to use those and to know where to find the right ones. Number 11 is also about money and that is always have a backup reserve. That means at any time on your travel you should have a little bit of money. And that is ideally something around 10,000 euros but also 5,000 euros is fine. Don't go traveling if you don't have at least some money saved. Better to wait a little bit, save money and then go to your trip. Number 12 is actually also very complimentary and that is generate cash flow because even if you have some money saved, you still want to earn money on a regular basis. Ideally, in order to make it healthy, you want to make more money than you're spending every month. And for that, I personally have made some investments that generate yield, but I also earn money remotely from my computer. And this is possible for everyone as well. Number 13 is be aware of currency risk because there are a lot of different currencies in the world and some are more stable than others. If you're in a very small country somewhere in Asia for example, the currency there is maybe not as strong as the world currency which is the US dollar. So you ideally want to stay in the dollar as big as possible. Don't throw all of your life savings in just one currency even if it's just the US dollar because you always want to be diversified and no one knows what will happen in the future. Number 14 is something that I did as well and that is visit low budget countries. Because some countries are obviously cheaper than others and my favorite tip here is probably everything in Asia because everything there is much cheaper than in Central Europe for example and I didn't have to spend that much money on a monthly basis in Asia than I would do in let's say Germany. But logically also you're not earning that much money in such a country so you would rather here also have something that you do remotely online and something like that. Number 15 also helps you to save a lot of money and that is be minimalistic. Don't buy everything you see, you have limited storage when you're traveling. I couldn't travel with my whole office setup right here, I would only take the camera probably. Also I wouldn't go eating outside as often in expensive restaurants as possible. I would rather live a minimalistic lifestyle so this is something I really recommend you to do as well. Number 16 is travel with basic outfits because you can't take all of your fancy dresses in your suitcases so for men for example just have a black, white and grey outfit. Shirts like these are probably not as good in every country as here in Cyprus, this is perfect but if I go traveling around the world I rather just take basic stuff and that is what I recommend you as well. Talking about suitcases, number 17 is use a good suitcase and also a good bag. Because you never know what happens and you would rather have a very safe and stable suitcase than having a very bad one because it was cheaper. Here my recommendation is Samsonite, they are very very strong and also safe. I could say now use the affiliate link down below but you can find it on your own and instead I would rather ask you to subscribe to the channel because I will make more awesome videos like these that will give you a lot of value. Hmm, that was smart. Number 18 is important documents and you always need to have the following documents with you regardless of where you are and that is number one your passport. Number two the international driver's license. Number three your vaccine card and all of the vaccines that you had in your past and number four your birth certificate. Take those ideally into your wallet for example so that they are always with you. Number 19 is vaccines that we just talked about and that is before you go on your travel, on your trip, make sure that you know what vaccines are required in the country that you're going to. 
because there are a lot of countries where vaccines are not just recommended but even necessary in some cases. But of course this is your choice, I'm just telling you to at least look into it. Number 20 is health and travel insurance. Before you leave, let your health insurance know that you are leaving. Also try to ask if you need an additional insurance. If you're moving to another country and you will not be in your home country anymore, also let them know so that you will not get a very big invoice in the future and so that you're not getting double charged. This is a very common mistake a lot of friends of mine did. They are leaving Germany for a long time and one year after they get an invoice from their health insurance and this goes up into the thousands. Number 21 is also important for emergencies and that is set up an emergency number. Just have like a one click button option that you can click on your phone or type into your phone that 911 gets called or someone that would help you immediately. I know it sounds boring and it will probably not happen to you but it's just important to at least have such an option. Number 22 is very important for people that are on longer trips and that is taxes. Some countries want you to pay taxes in the country if you spend more than 6 months there. But your home country could also at the same time say that they want the taxes there so there are some things you need to be aware of so that you also don't get double charged in taxes. Unfortunately I'm not a professional accountant so definitely make sure to ask an expert for your individual case. Tip number 23 is one of my favorites and that is enjoy your time alone. We are used to being around people for so often that we always do what everyone is happy with. But if you're on your own you do things that really only you and only you want. Also you get to know yourself much better and with writing a journal you really become a new person and you meet yourself and you know what you really want in life. Number 24 and don't forget about that is to stay in contact with family and friends. I think this is very self explanatory, regularly call your best friends and family. I personally call my grandma every few days and with my mom we chat almost daily. Number 25 and that is very hard and I also struggle with that but that is spend less time on your phone. Every one of us, even me included, we should enjoy our time when we are traveling and in general just see the world much more and not be on our phones like this. The phone is awesome to produce content, share it with the world but we should consume much less. Also check out this video about my travel essentials and all the gadgets I take with me every time I travel.